Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the EQ2 vlog. Guys, I'm having a good time doing this. Here we are. We're still at Yasha Redblade. It looks like there's a few other quests. When you see yellow glowing things above people's heads and they look kind of like feathers, when you get up close, you can tell they are feathers. Um, that means that person has a quest for you. So we got someone over this way and someone over this way that has quests. But right now, we're going to keep finishing Yasha Redblade quests and uh, see where she takes us next. Hail. Report to Reagan Firebeard. He is at a small campsite at Garrowing Cove, preparing to guide the latest group of pilgrims to the city. If you hurry up, you should be able to catch him before they embark on their trek. How do I get there? Get aboard the small ferry craft that we have pieced together at the southernmost tip of Pilgrim's Landry, Landing. It will take you over to Aurelius. Aurelius. Aurelius, however you want to pronounce it. The campsite's fire should be noticeable from the beach. Thank you again. And it looks, once, looks like once we do that, uh, we're going to get, hey, some bracers that are a pretty good upgrade. I mean, lower mitigation, but we get more primary attributes and stamina. I don't understand. These upgrades are also downgrades. Like, they have lower mitigation, half as much mitigation, but you get stamina, which gives you more health, and you get two to primary attributes, which gives you everything else. So it would give us more power, health and power. Uh, I don't know. Partial upgrade, partial not. Not that thrilling. But so she's saying we can leave the area if we if if we want to go on to the next area. So I'm thinking before we do that, we're gonna leave this quest up. We're gonna keep that quest. We're gonna start another quest line. We're gonna see. We have a banker here? Oh, we do. One of these videos I'll have to show you. I don't think I'll do it on this video. But one of these videos we'll have to go to the bank and drop some stuff off. That's cool. There's a banker here. All right. Trainer Hawk Dunlop. Harvesting and collections. Ooh, this would be a fun one. So, you know what? That's that's kind of a long It might be a little bit of a long one. We, we're already like three minutes into this. Let's see. What this other one is up over here. This is Aaron Clellins, Camp Provisioner. Click on him. Hail. I don't recognize you, newcomer. Are you the one that came ashore saving three others? That's what I've been told. That was a great feat, I'm telling you. So, what happened, Droker? My boat was attacked and destroyed by orcs, apparently. Ah, that does explain how you ended up here. They've been trying to stop and any and all ships from docking in, in Erelis and providing more forces to New Halas. I'm glad that you survived. Yeah, me too. Of course, that doesn't mean that the hard part is over, mind you. I'd say you've jumped out of the frying pan and landed in the fire. But that just reminds me how nice it would be to have food and a warm fire. You don't have any food? I have some, sure, but it's not fit for man or beast anymore. Bothersome little lichen creatures keep breaking into our stores and spoiling them. I can help you. I would appreciate it, Droger. Slay any of the Crestos defenders and spore tenders you find on the western side of the aisle in search of spore samples. Excuse me. They congregate there most amongst the big stones. <clears throat> Return to me when you have done this. See, look, here's a raiding spore tender. Rating the supplies, man. Right away! 
Let's see what do we get? We we'll get some gloves that have half the mitigation, but give us a little bit of attributes. I think that's so silly. But all right, let's see what, where we need to go here. Looks like right over here is poor tenders. This direction. Ah. So when oh, there's a shiny. Click on that. Hopefully we'll get a something we don't already have. Hey, a turtle shell. Need that. So that's two items of this quest. We need three more items, and we'll, uh, you could turn collections in and get a reward. So when you need something, it'll also have a little feather next to the name when you don't need it. This little feather is not there, so. Use all three of our spells. Oh yeah, you know, I wanted to show you, that's right here. These ones would be good ones to show you uh, the spell that I was talking about. I think it's, okay, it's this one. So we're going to go invis using our sneak spell. Okay. Now we're invis. When you're invis, you walk really slow. So, and then we're going to come up behind this guy and we're going to use this zero spell. You have to target him. Boom. That did half of his health all in one spell. And it took us a second to get him the rest of his health. Level five, what? All right, and we got some pungent fungus spore from the guy. We got a new spell here, a couple. What's this one? Kidney stab. Flicks 20 to 25 melee damage on target. Decreases mitigation of physical damage by 40. Must be flanking or behind. So these are hard unless you have a tank or someone else to, like, Keep the attention of the of the uh, mob. Mob is what I call monster, I guess. Or I don't know why they call a mob. But I used to know, huh? but anyway, let's not worry about it. Let's see what's this one? Lucky break it begins a heroic opportunity. So we'll talk about heroic opportunities some other time. So we these are getting to be apparently easy. They're uh, green now, which means that they're quite a bit below you. So we're going to invis, and we're going to do that same uh, attack. Invis one more time. Find another one. And we're actually. Oh. I do this. And I was able to use one of my flanking or behind because I was behind him when I used this and it knocked him down. Or stunned him while he was facing the other direction. I had enough time to cast one of my other ones. So that was cool. All right, return. Oh, where is he? Oh, here he is. Camp Provisioner. Hail. I see you were successful, Droger. That's great news. What are you going to do with the spore samples? He gave us our reward. And he said, we are going to use the Crustos spore samples to create a repellent against the little spores. There will be no need to kill them if we can just make them stay away. I like your thinking. Thanks. Now take this repellent potion and apply it to the Crustos spore tenders. They are the ones spreading the spores around. I hope tomorrow that they shuffle their stems away from here. But sh be sure to use it on a good number of different ones so that we are sure of the effects. Sure thing. Except quest. And it looks like uh, it says you receive a Crestos repellent prototype 
and it's right up here. We can just click it from here. Um, you could also click and drag it to your hotbar, and you'd be able to use the hotbar. So I don't know if you noticed how it has a one, a two, a three. You can't really see, but you know, let me. Yeah, you can't really see the. I guess it doesn't unless you have this, a spell in it. But, so my one button, I click to use this. My two, I click to use that. My three, I click to use this. And that's how I've been casting those. I suppose I never really mentioned that. So you can hold the Alt button and click, you know, one through zero and then equals and minus or whatever it is, you know, minus and equals. Um, you just, this one, you don't hold down anything. This one, you hold down Alt. Uh, later on, when we need more, we'll have another one where you hold down Control. And then if you do more than that, you just have to click them because. They just have the three where you can hold down. Uh, as far as I, at least as far as I remember, I could be wrong. Anyway, so test this. We're gonna go back over to these guys. See these have something next to their name. So we're going to use it on one of those guys. Oh yeah, he took off running like a bat out of hell. So we're going to do this to a few of these guys. How many does it want us to do? Six? Let's see, here's three. We go up to this guy and we got four. Looks like there's another one right here, so we'll go for him five and all we need is one more here's one up here i'll do him and boom six return set back i'm having a good time doing this guys and we're leveling up Ooh, look at this a shiny can't pass that up hopefully it's something we don't already have and we can Get that much closer to finishing. Nice, a falcon feather. It's a new one, though. So we need uh, four more items for this one now that we have one of them. And now we have two collection quests going. We need three more items for the shell collection. And we need four more for the feather collection. Anyway, let's go back over here and to our guy with the book. What's his name? Uh, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. How did it go out there? The repellent worked great. That's a relief. Uh, we received a Crestos repellent. And so he says, that's a relief. Now apply it to our provisioners right here and keep our provisions right here and keep the bot bothersome creatures away from them. I'll, I'll get to it right now. Oh, you just click it. Come back to him. All right. Ew. Hey. Got some experience. I said... I said, hey, he said, those Crestos creatures are sure, have sure disappeared. That will certainly help my mouths, help keep mouths fed around here. Thank you, Drucker. And we're going to accept his two silver and 49 copper. <laughs> Not very much money, but uh, we're going to accept it anyway. And you're welcome. Unfortunately, I'm busy right now because we're going to call that the end of this quest. It's been kind of a long one, 14 and a half minutes. I don't even know. We might have done two quests just now. <laughs> Losing track. But guys, I'm having a good time. Thanks for watching the channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in to my EQ2 vlog. My name is D, and this is DQ2. We will see you next time. Later, guys.